Hey folks, Grace here from Pathways to Better Days. Music heals the soul is our nice uh, hashtag that we like to follow because it's a lot that we believe. And as I'm working for the soul, um, I started yesterday um, recording a video of a book I'm reading now by Dr. Judith Orloff. Um, it's the second one I've read now. The first one is Empath Survival Guide. This one's Thriving as an Empath. And it gives us 365 days of self-care for sensitive people. And it's something we can all use for sure, hey? So for today's reading, June 6th, is Positive Body Image. Your body image contributes to your self-esteem and sense of attractiveness. It is shaped by your family's belief, media hype, and cultural ideas. It's important to free your mind from any brainwashing so that you can enjoy your physical form. It's a misconception to think that you have to change how you look to feel better about yourself. So much it's governed by our own perception. I've treated thin patients who believe they're fat and plus size patients who carry their weight lightly and frail feel sexy. How you perceive your body is up to you. I appreciate that it is important to like how you look. To reinforce a positive body image, limit your exposure to negative media images with uh, stick-thin models or muscle-bound athletes representing some illusionary ideal. Also, let go of comparisons. Instead, develop positive self-talk. It's fine to want to eat healthy food and lose weight, but remember to be compassionate with yourself in the process. Yeah, that's important, isn't it? something I've struggled with all, all my life, I'd say, pretty much, is a positive body image. It's something I'm working on now with, through uh, some of my work that I'm doing in that, energy work. So, as uh, Dr. Judith Orloff has on every day, she has set your intention. And today's set your intention is, I will say kind things about my body because I know it hears me. I will focus on myself and will refrain from comparing myself to others. Yeah, powerful. Everything seems to be a comparison these days, doesn't it? And uh, something I learned um, with Carolyn Hapgood during my sessions there with her is that every one of ourselves hear us. So if we talk to ourselves, like we talk to our children and to our pets and to, so we talk to our hands and tell them how much each, every cell, we love them, um, you will see a difference. And tomorrow's is a little bit more about that too. Love you, have a great day, and don't forget to set that intention.